Hi, my name's Amelia Reynolds, and for my social media case study, I will be looking how Virgin Atlantic has handled the coronavirus. Sir Richard Branson founded Virgin Atlantic Airways more than 30 years ago. It is a global London-based airline. Virgin Unite is the entrepreneurial foundation of the Virgin Group, which has expanded to Virgin Media, Virgin Mobile, Virgin Orbit, Virgin Galactic, Virgin Trains and other Virgin Airlines. According to Virgin Atlantic financial results, the airline's revenue was £2.781 billion, Great British Pounds, and that's roughly $3.5 billion in 2018, which sounds like a lot of money. But compared to their number one competitor, British Airways, it is not a lot, as their total revenue is £13.02 billion. Pounds. Roughly 5.5 million people fly with Virgin Atlantic every year, and it was the world's first airline to fly pets. The brand prides itself on trying to make air tra- travel exciting, stylish, and enjoyable again, as stated on the Virgin Atlantic website. It is ranked the 12th safest airline in the world in 2019, according to the airline ratings, where they monitor 405 airlines around the world. Before the virus, Virgin Atlantic were very active on multiple social media platforms, such as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The brand has 540k followers on Instagram, 625 followers on Twitter and 655,000 followers on Facebook. They post at least three times a week on Facebook, nearly every day on Instagram and on Twitter multiple times a day on some. And reply and retweet what people have said about the brand. Richard Branson, the founder, is particularly involved with the social media. He is either featured or posts content about Virgin. With each platform, the brand stays current by creating funny content, partaking in popular social media challenges and stay personal by posting about their cabin crew. The brand appears to be socially involved too. They have posted about celebrating International Women's Day, supporting the LGBTQ plus community and various other holidays. They try to involve their customers with every post by asking questions, featuring guests and doing polls. Virgin Atlantic social media is consistent throughout all platforms. With each post, it is edited to choose the media site But the key message is the same. The coronavirus pandemic has spread to nearly every country in the world since it first emerged in China at the beginning of the year. This devastating virus has infected more than 1,855,000 people as of yet and more than 114,000 known deaths have been recorded. COVID-19 is a part of the family of viruses that include common cold and respiratory illnesses. It affects your lungs and airways. For some symptoms can be mild, but for others can be life-threatening, as age says. It spreads through respiratory droplets with an infected person cough, sneezes or speaks. In order to best protect yourself from catching COVID-19, it's practicing social distancing and wash your hands regularly, as Myth says. The majority of airlines have suspended a great number of flights to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. With government warning against non-essential travel, a number of countries have stopped foreign arrivals altogether and put in place travel bans, the International Airport Review. With a reduced flight schedule, this has caused thousands of workers within these airlines to be affected. As with fewer flights, there is less staff involved. Many countries are imposing travel bans, causing the bookings for flights have reached almost zero and many people cancelling their flights as they physically won't be allowed into the country they were travelling to. People are stuck in countries or on holidays that want to go home, so are reaching out to airlines like Virgin for help to either rearrange or book one sooner. The amount of money airlines are losing is drastic. According to the International Air Transport Association, airlines could suffer a loss of $113 due to COVID-19. Whilst for passengers, the loss of revenue would be about $63 billion if the virus does not further and is continued at its current level. Virgin Atlantic has cut 80% of its flights, therefore asked staff to take eight weeks unpaid leave at the start of March. In a statement Virgin made, the airline said 
it will prioritise core routes based on customer demand. After many countries enforcing travel bans at the start of April, Virgin, two weeks after, are now only flying cargo only to help speed up the medical supplies to the NHS and hospitals in the UK. They have cancelled all passenger flights for a week. The airline stated that it is reviewing its flying program on a daily basis. The airline has posted multiple times a week on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and commented when something has developed. Most of the posts are centred around safety, clarification and the Virgin Atlantic team. They offered flexibility for new bookings and rebookings of flight that have been affected. Flies cargo only when necessary, including equipment for the NHS and Virgin Atlantic have applied for hundreds of millions of pounds in state aid for a bailout. Here is a timeline of COVID-19 and the brand communication and PR moves. The public's reactions are very mixed throughout this time period that I've been looking at and changes when certain pieces of information are brought to light. There have been a constant message about loving the staff and what the brand embodies. You can see this in all the comments of mostly every post that they do and you can see that they have a loyal customer base. The reactions towards Richard Branson is what is mostly negative in this instance. And as the founder of Virgin Atlantic, this then backlashes onto the airline. The biggest negative reaction has been towards Virgin Atlantic not paying its staff and then asking the government for £500 million. These are only in the comments or the media traffic when reading about Richard Branson as well as Virgin Atlantic. Based on the social media posts alone, it has been mostly positive. However, there has been a fair amount of comments about people's personal situations which are negative, but these are about flight cancellations or bookings. Overall, the majority of social media comments have been positive with customers loving what Virgin Atlantic is posting. I think that Virgin Atlantic did very well with their messaging and actions, especially when the media posted two major negative stories. First instant, when VA asked its workers to take eight weeks unpaid leave. They counteracted this with a heartwarming video about how proud of the team they are, saying thank you for their sacrifices, which makes their team stronger than ever. Two more Instagram posts about how they're helping the NHS and showing support for them then followed this video, again distracting the public away from the fact that they weren't paying their staff. Then the second time was when Richard Branson asked for £500 million to help bail out Virgin Atlantic. This was followed by a huge amount of negativity from the public and is still going on to this day. They tried to counteract this with the posts about supporting the NHS staff, announcing that Virgin Atlantic staff who have qualifications that can allow them to help the NHS will be volunteering, which was then followed by the announcement that a Virgin-linked com company, Virgin Orbit, has been helping medical staff come up with a new ventilator. These two instances are drastic and could have been detrimental to Virgin Atlantic's airline. However, I think with the use of social media, they have managed to contain the damage control while still being up to date and creating a positive message. I think Virgin Atlantic have done a good job as airlines has been severely affected by COVID-19 as essential this virus has stopped travel. So there will be repercussions from customers then may have negative thoughts towards Virgin Atlantic, when really it is out of their hands. The airline's social media team has done well in making sure to comment back when necessary.